Yeah, it sounds like it's made up. You wouldn't believe it if, if, if someone hadn't said a true story. You'd go, that's a ridiculous idea for a film. No one's going to buy that. But it is real. A true story happening right after 9-11. Movie writer Mike Scott with NOLA.com, The Times Pick You, and is here with more on that movie and more on what's worth seeing this weekend. Good morning, Mike. Good morning to you. Thank you. So, so 12 Strong. 12 Strong is the first one we just heard from Chris Hemsworth there, one of the, the stars of the film. Right. Tell us all about it. Well, I, I'll tell you what, it's been since mid-December that we've had a movie win the box office that's not been named either Star Wars or Jumanji. <laughs> 12 Strong could be the one that finally replaces Jumanji, which won last weekend. Oh, really? it, it's expected to get around $15 million, which should challenge. And as, as, as you said at the top, it's based on, a real, on real events about the first American forces into Afghanistan after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. They were so early, they, they, were, they went in on horseback, in fact. So you got a wow. great cast. You've got Chris Hemsworth, of course, who everybody remembers as Thor. Yeah. Michael Shannon, Michael Pena in it. This one's getting criticized for maybe not digging real deep, for not really having a whole lot of nuance. Mm -hmm. But if you like military action, and you don't mind, you know, maybe a depth, uh, a, or if you don't mind a lack of a depth of insight, mm -hmm. uh, this could be the movie for you. All right, Call Me By Your Name is the next one, an indie drama. An indie drama, and you know, Tuesday, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is going to reveal its Oscar nominations for this year, and a yeah. lot of people think Call Me By Your Name could be in that number. Really? It's a, uh, a coming-of-age sexual awakening drama about a young American man who falls in love with the graduate student working for his professor father uh, over the course of a summer in Italy. Okay. Now, this one is really well-reviewed. I didn't like it as much as other critics said. I liked it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just not over the moon. Most other, this is really one of the best-reviewed movies of the year so far. <laughs> I thought it started a little bit slow, but what you're going to get is you're going to get some beautiful shots of the Italian countryside yeah. and two great performances, particularly from Army Hammer and Timothy Chalamet, who people think that he, he's, a, he's a young actor, just, just up and coming. People think he could be, get a Best Lead Actor nomination wow. on Tuesday morning. I think the Oscar still belongs to Gary Oldman of Darkest Hour. He yeah. played Churchill in that. But keep an eye on Timothy Chalamet. He's really sort of okay. making waves. All right, and the final movie you want to tell us about this morning, Mom and Dad. Yeah, now for something completely different. This movie <laughs> is crazy. It stars Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair. It's a horror satire. Huh. Um, a, a, and it, 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 it tells a story of a mysterious force, a virus presumably, that infects parents to kill their children, makes them want to kill their children, not just any children, okay. their own children, and very bloodily. It's a, <laughs> it's a movie that, there's some loose metaphor about the, uh, the, the stress of parenthood, but basically this movie is just pull out the stops, fun, roller coaster ride, it knows what it is and it doesn't pretend to be anything else. And particularly Nicolas Cage, who you know can go over the top yeah. better than anybody, it's just off his rocker in this one. This is a, a lot of fun. Very bloody, but if you don't mind that, this is, this is a good bit of cinematic. All right, fun. we've got two different extremes there. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Mike Scott, thank you. My pleasure. For those good suggestions. It's now